G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Okay, as you know, I'm not doing any more videos. This is going to be a short video. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is quite possibly one of the best, if not the best, video done in regards to what we're all trying to find as in planets, Nibiru, etc., etc., that I've ever seen. Um, it's by a gentleman called Bob, whose um, YouTube name is Pies and Cakes, as you can see there, Pies and Cakes. He films by himself with an old Motorola phone in Boston, USA. I've spoken to him over the last couple of days because the, the footage and everything that he's, everything else that he's filming is just over last sen sensational over the last couple of days. Now, the video that I'm, I'm taking the stuff off is January tw uh, 17th, 2017. Now, I'm not going to play you the whole video. Um, I'll start it, and then I'll show you the stuff that I want you to see. Do you want a shorter video? decided to make a bunch of happy colored peanuts. Like, what the heck is that? You know, it just gets stranger by the day. Can you see the planet there? There's a planet there. This is the sun going down. This is not the sun up here. These are chemtrails. Look at how much chemtrails they've done there, folks. You don't think they're trying to hide something? Now, while he's actually filming, and the sun's going down, by the way, so it's almost gone, they are chemtrailing the shit out of the place. Now, this here is not a chemtrail. And I'm going to prove it to you in a second. This here is a meteor. It's not an asteroid or anything else. It's actually a meteor. See how it's punched through our atmosphere. And it's actually, what's happening is, it looks like it's coming down. But it's actually going backwards. And it's going sort of in a northwesterly fashion. You know, if this is the west, it's actually going north. So just watch. <laughs> you lost the plane, the plane. Anyway, um, as you can see, that was a plane. Like I said, it's just getting harder to digest. See that? Okay, now I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to take it up here. Sorry, I'll take it to here. A little bit further out You see that meteor in there now. Look at that. But that is not the scary part. The scary part's coming up. If anything, you should be afraid of those bad people spraying that stuff, man. You know? Look, man. You know, what, you know what's going on? It's pies are seeing things due to the Lord, and they don't want pies to see it. But there's only one thing. You're dealing with the Lord. I have no control over what he decides to show me or does it. Uh, so that's kind of how the story goes here. You know I mean, I'm, uh, uh, we're not on my time on the Lord's. Look, you notice the difference between a chemtrail. Look, that's not a chemtrail, folks. I'll prove it to you in a second. But just watch. Watch what happens here in this area here. I'll take it up here. Look, 
see the planets? Now you can actually see just how this is punched through the atmosphere and it's actually going backwards. So it's heading, heading towards the north. Can you see the size of that planet there? Holy shit, look at the size of it. It is massive. There's another one there. Okay. So, thankfully, here's something I prepared earlier. Shit. You see the size of it? Look at it. I can't figure out if that's one planet there, a smaller planet, and this is the moon that goes with it. Still think that's not a planet? Still think that's a chemtrail? Think again. Because you're wrong. As I said, this is without doubt the most, one of the best, if not the best, videos ever done on what we're all trying to find. You can see where it's punched through the atmosphere, look. There's a planet there, there's another planet there, and that is the outline of the bigger planet underneath it. If anyone knows Sam Houston, can you get Sam Houston to have a look at this video and get in touch with Bob? That's with all the gamma taken out of it, folks. Let me do it again for you. Oops, sorry. There's all the gamma gone. Look at that. One planet there, as you can see, another planet there, and there's actually another planet just behind that one, and that there at the back that you can make out. See the line just there? That is a friggin' huge planet, folks. But that's not all. Sorry, wrong one. Look. That is another huge planet there, folks. This is what they're trying to stop you from seeing. There's no two ways about it. Unfortunately, they didn't expect uh, expect the bloody great big meteor to come showering down through the sky. That there is bloody massive. Look. They're friggin' everywhere, folks. Look, look at the size of it. Look, you can actually see it for your own eyes. This is why they're chemtrailing the crap out of Boston at the moment, or America because they don't want you to see this. That's not one of the best ones. You see that planet there? Look at it. You can't miss it. Look at the size of it.
It sure as shit ain't a lens flare, folks, that's for sure. And if I can't convince you of what you're looking at, then seriously, you're actually looking for the wrong thing. And what this man has filmed is, as I said, probably the best, if not the best, or one of the best videos ever shot on, shot on this subject. I'm a fidgety child. I couldn't sit still. So my tongue, when I'm sitting still, my tongue. So go and have a look at his videos, Pies and Cakes. He's got three days where he's showing his meteor, this meteor coming through. On the other days, it's actually not as uh, profound as it is on this day, by the way. You can't see it as much as what, he, what he's filmed it on today. You can see it, but it's just not as profound as what it is going that way. Look, you can actually see it moving, going away. It's actually going north. This is how curious people learn things by observation. Correct. You know, look at that light pulling down like that. I mean, to the right, hard. You know, that, that's at, the, at 5 o'clock, almost 4 o'clock. Look, can you see that? Look, that's not a cloud, folks. That's clouds. That's not. Like I said, folks, if that picture there doesn't convince you that we're in worrying times, then you need to be watching new videos, probably um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears or something like that, and trying to find the yellow brick road. Also, if you're not trying to find something spiritually at the moment, then I can't help you as well. This is the Lord's Prayer, and I reckon after watching that, you need to say it, and you need to start saying it. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, that's all of us, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Listen, folks, all that time that we've been trying to find stuff and do whatever, this is it. It's here. There's a meteor flying through the sky. It isn't painted on there. It's actually real. Get right, get prepped, get ready, because it's here. It's here, folks. God bless you all.